All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and set lines. Let's talk about what we're going to run for today. <clears throat> Starting off with the uh, two-color lead core running a Flutter Spoon Warrior. Uh, this is one of my favorite steelhead candy when they're honed in on a slim profile. And it's light and thin, and it uh, trolls really well at a variety of speeds. We're going to set this out. This, this was pretty hot for me uh, uh, yesterday. So we're going to start with this. They were really keyed in on the specific uh, profile of bait. So we're going to set this line out. We're also going to set down, it's still overcast. Not even overcast, it's just like a haze. And when we get these hazy conditions, I like gold. So our second spoon is going to be a uh, gold HUD. We'll put that down a little bit deeper in the water column. And then we're going to put the flash fly on the our new little rigger, which I guess I should have mentioned. We got a new little kayak rigger. Um, really got it to test it out, compare it against torpedoes. And so I'm going to share with you that experience and journey because we'll use it, I guess, for the rest of the year and see, you know, how it holds up. Easy use, you know, practicality. Do I notice a change and difference in um, in anything? So torpedo rods, what I really like for my torpedo rods is going to be the Guide Select Pro from Akuma. Um, these medium heavies, 8 foot 2s can hold up to 5 ounces. They hold the torpedoes excellently. Even the big 12 ounce holds it beautifully so we're gonna get this line out we're gonna stretch this one back about 30 and now for the fun stuff here our rigger we're running a four pound ball on this thing um one thing i can tell you already is to immediately get rid of the cable and put on a braid i am running a 120 pound braid and it makes a tremendous difference um specifically in 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 the the wire line uh, screaming at you, it is annoying. The way I figured I'd do this, that works the best for me is, once I got it clipped on, put it in the rod holder. There we go. Oh, we got a fish. Oh, that didn't take long. That did not take long. That gold, that gold took that fish. Awesome. I actually saw him on the lab scope coming to the, uh, he was down like 20, 25 and came up. It's a little guy, it seems like. But, I mean, we were setting lines and here we are. Um, I'm gonna try and shake him off. This is a little guy. All right, that's one in. We're gonna have to keep it. He, he was hooked pretty tough. All right, guys, you know what? I feel a little dangerous today. Take advantage of the downrigger here. We're gonna put on this setup right here. This is the all new Akuma Samar A reel. It is coming out at iCast 2023. We've got an early look and are going to put it through its paces, hopefully on a big king or just salmon in period. Uh, we're going to take the spinning reel set up. I got it on a Kuma SST twitching uh, rod, seven foot six, medium action. I love these rods for uh, salmon fishing, jigging, casting, whether you're from the kayak or boat or whatever. Um, we're going to put a spoon on and I'm going to send it down to the depths, down deep. There it, there it is. There it is. I saw that fish coming. I saw that fish come right into the into the live. Let's see if it's a king or not. He hit pretty good. He hit pretty good. Is he uh is he awake? Maybe it's a coho. Yeah, I think it's a coho. The way he's, uh, when you get those repeat, repeating head nods like that. He stuck it pretty good, too, though. Stuck it pretty good. I didn't even get a chance to put this rod in the water. Get here, fishy, fishy. Come on.
I guess all it takes for me to catch fish is to talk to you guys about stuff. And we get bites. Went back to drag off here. It's definitely a coho. Where you at, buddy? Come on. Let's move this out of the way here. Put it there for a second. Stay on, baby, stay on. I always get nervous when they do that, right by the kayak. They start getting a little crazy, jumping over the place. That's, that's the quickest way for them to come unbuttoned. They essentially unhook themselves. Remember, go ahead and loosen up your drag on your lead core. Not very much stretching it at all. There it is. Nice coho. Oh. There's our coho right there. You can definitely tell the size difference from the coho that are in close, more juvenile, and the bigger guys, a little bit out deeper. Took that on the SWR, which has been on fire. All right, so we got that one in. Let's go ahead and get our lines back up in here, set up. We're going to get this rod uh, put in here with the spinning rod and see what we can do with that. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Whoa, Jesus. I didn't even get a chance to reconnect my stuff. Oh, that was a pot of fish right there. Uh, I think it's another coho. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's another coho. We dialed something in good, man. Hell yeah. Unless it's a king. It's it's hefty, but it's not it's not doing the typical coho thing, so unless he doesn't know he's He's hooked up yet. What is happening right now? I don't feel any fish on here. Nope, he's on. He's just, he just gave up. Nope, there's it's another coho. It's a nice one. So. We'll slow down since we, uh, he's just barely hooked, so I gotta kinda be careful here. Come on. I might be able to both flip him in. Got him in. Woo! Fast and furious action out here. Holy hell. After yesterday's grind, I will take it.